Anybody here smoke the cigarettes? I love proud smokers, I really do. What brand? Marlboro. Okay, I gotta tell you, I love the Marlboro cigarettes. I've been smoking for 24 years, and you know why I love the Marlboro cigarettes? The Marlboro catalog. I love the Marlboro catalog. Every pack, for those of you that don't know, of Marlboro cigarettes comes with five miles on it, and you cut them out and you collect them, and Marlboro sends you a catalog of all the great shit that you can buy before you die. It's true, I just got my catalog, backpacks, running shoes. Yeah, because we smokers are avid joggers. A kayak. 340,000 miles for the kayak. That's 6,800 packs of cigarettes. If I'm smoking that much, Marlboro, I don't need a kayak. I need an oxygen tank. You got that in the fucking catalog? The entire catalog is sports. It is. Don't smoke. The entire catalog is sports and camping gear. The only thing I could afford was an inner tube. 70,000 miles. And when it showed up, the frickin' thing didn't come with a pump. I smoke three packs a day. How am I gonna blow it up? One thing I hate about being gay is gay people think everybody's gay. You ever notice that? Tom Cruise, heard he's gay. <laughs> Matt Damon, gay. <laughs> ben Affleck, oh, gay. <laughs> Do you ever notice they only claim the attractive ones? I mean, you will never hear a gay guy going, Danny DeVito, gay. <laughs> Walking through the casino and I brought three of my friends with me and we were having the greatest time, okay? And all of a sudden, as we're walking down one of the ramps, this guy kind of bumps into me and I go, oh, excuse me, sir. He goes, excuse you, gay boy. <laughs> I go, what did you say? What did you say? What did you say? <laughs> and my three friends were like, aunt, you better stop. He's bigger, he can take you. I said, uh-uh, this is Vegas and four queens always beat us straight. <laughs> Great crowd. My nephew Matt just called me, and my nephew Matt just said, uh, Uncle Ant, which is fucked up right there. <laughs> he goes, I just joined the Boy Scouts, and you can't join because you're gay. You're gay. Just like a little 12 year old can do. So I had to think quick. I was like, well, Matt, I don't want to join the Boy Scouts. Because when you think about it, who are the Boy Scouts? A bunch of young men, matching uniforms, <laughs> short shorts, little knee-high socks, <laughs> kerchiefs around their necks. And when they all do something good, they get a little patch that they sew <laughs> on their sash. That's gay. <laughs> so he quit. And I won. And now he's a brownie. He says dumb things to me too. You all have family members that just embarrass the shit out of you. <laughs> the la yeah, the last great thing he said to me that just totally, I just literally wanted to hit him in the head with a stick. <laughs> and just go, he goes, uh, well, when did you turn gay? <laughs> what? You know, when did you turn gay? Well, Frank, I was born gay. <laughs> Nobody turns gay. I wasn't walking down the street. Look at that girl's leg. Hi! <laughs> Let me do your hair. <laughs> okay. And then, so after I explain this all to him, right, he still doesn't get it. He's a little touched in the head. So uh, he goes to me, well, I don't know why you don't like sleeping with girls, Aunt. I mean, they're just like sandwiches. I could eat them all day.
I go, I'll tell you why, Frank. Because a sandwich is a sandwich, but a manwich is a meal. <laughs>